I have here a vintage red pedal from the early 80s. Today I want to compare it with universal audio software emulation called the RAW. As you can see, the enclosure on the user interface looks different than the pedal. The plugin is modeled after the so-called version 2, which was in production between 1981 and 1983, so I assume that Universal Audio want to recreate that version. The pedal I have is the version that was in production from 1984 until 1988. As I mentioned before, it looks different than the plugin, but inside it has the same circuits like the version 2. Now some info on today's setup. I'll start with my preferred configuration for reamping guitars. In this setup I'm going straight into the Apollo interface, which offers the possibility to use UAD plugins in real time on the input channel strip. After that I'm going out of the interface and into the pedal using this reamper. This setup makes sure that all guitar signals go through the analog to digital conversion and vice versa, which allows for a consistent sound when reamping. So today I'm using the Marshall Silver Jubilee combo as my amp, and I'm playing with this marvelous original 70s Fender Telecaster Custom on the neck pickup. This is my clean sound. Okay, I'm starting off with the red pedal. So let me switch on the plug-in version. Now I switched the setup to a different configuration which I call the live setup. I'm running the guitar into my Boss LS2 line selector pedal. From here I can go into the Apollo interface and the RAW plugin via one of the send and return loops and the reamper. I can also bypass that loop and pass the signal on to my RAD pedal which is behind the LS2 in the signal chain. In this setup the RAW plugin becomes a live pedal and the LS2 is simply my on and off switch. Oh no, it's the wrong shirt! <laughs> As you can see I switched guitars, um, I'm using the Johnny Marr Signature Jaguar now and this is my clean sound. I'm on the neck position by the way, starting off we'll use the pedal again. Okay, switch off the pedal and switch over to the plugin. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
So this was my comparison of the red pedal with the raw plugin. Digital sure has come a long way since the first Line 6 parts showed up. In my video I think I hear a bit more presence on the pedal in the applications I showcased. But to be fair, I don't know if I can tell the difference in a blind test, as the raw plugin is very close in sound to the pedal. In the first sound example the harmonic chords seem to sound a bit more transparent due to the way how the distortion wraps around the DI signal. So I can see how a lot of players might actually prefer the plugin over the pedal, especially if you want to stay in the box anyway. So that's it for today. Please leave a comment below, let me know what you think and please subscribe to my channel. Ciao!